In 2015, the Broad Institute and Dana-Farber Cancer Institute launched the Metastatic Breast Cancer Project. The research initiative engages patients with metastatic breast cancer through social media, asking them to share their genetic data with and become partners in this direct-to-patient study. To really get a deep understanding of metastatic breast cancer and how to treat it best and eventually how to cure it, um, we need to study a much larger group of people. And that's because we want to make sure that we're not just representing all 50 states, but we're representing all different types of people who get metastatic breast cancer. It's a challenge that is all too familiar in medical research. Worldwide, studies often struggle to enroll patients who reflect the true diversity of disease. Black women get breast cancer at younger ages. They die at younger ages. They have a much higher incidence of metastatic disease. If we can't get an appropriate representative cross-section of everyone who gets cancer, then we can't do this. As they have done from the beginning, project leaders reached out to patients, inviting African-American breast cancer advocates to the Broad Institute to help shape outreach to underrepresented patient communities. It behooves us to have these conversations, and it's really incumbent upon those of us that are conducting research to initiate these conversations so that we can learn from each other and so that we can be equal partners in the process of moving research forward. But to move forward, researchers understand they needed to look back. There is this cultural mistrust, but then there's also this history, this centuries of history that exists between black patients in medical research. Sean Johnson, a researcher at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and Harvard Medical School, laid the groundwork for the discussion. For about 300 years, there was this relationship between black patients and physicians where we now talk about a patient-physician dynamic. This was an owner-patient dynamic. Physicians would go to plantations and they would buy slaves for the purpose of doing surgical experimentation on them, for the purpose of trying new uh, treatments. These aren't just random fears and, and biases and concerns that have arisen in these communities. This is stuff that we as an establishment sort of did for about 100 or 200 years. These women shared their cancer experiences both as advocates and as patients. They say that divide still exists. Back when my mom was diagnosed, I ain't know. I really didn't think black women could get breast cancer. I just didn't know. Did you guys watch all of the media things that happened during Breast yes. Cancer Awareness Month? Yes. Our community wasn't there. We're still dehumanized mm -hmm. as individuals, and I really hope that this project will make a difference, not just for the black women, but also for the physicians. Mm -hmm because we can't do this by ourselves. The more African-American women see other African-American women participate in this project and we're advocating for it, then I know we'll get more people to actually participate and involve them. For many people, this project, I think, is a way to be able to do something to help. And it may not be to help themselves. So I look at my baby sometimes like if she's gonna get it, like if, if I can do this to save her, why not? For my family, I have to do this. Mm -hmm. I have to do this. It's not about me anymore. It's about who I can help, who I can help in my community. My community needs me. We are all coming together in order to make sure that we are accurately representing the people who get this disease. And that's going to require a lot of individual conversations. Advocates say transparent research studies, like the MBC Project, can jumpstart those conversations by building trust with underrepresented patients. Breast cancer looks like us. Five of us, we look like this, and we're doing it, and we're saying it's okay. And if we can help save, like, just one life, two lives, you know, we're making a difference. We're making a difference. For more information and to find out how you can join the Metastatic Breast Cancer Project, visit mbcproject.org.